Good morning, everyone, and welcome to Wednesday morning. It's Stephen Whiteside here from theuptrend.com. In the pre-market this morning, stock index futures are down across the board. So, so far, it looks like we're going to see some selling at the open on Wednesday morning. I don't think uh, it's going to be enough to generate new buy signals for the major indices, but we'll just have to wait and see. Now, Tuesday was an interesting day. Most of the major indices were down except the Dow, and the Dow was led higher by Caterpillar, which was up over $23 and closing at the high of the day. So quite an incredible move for Caterpillar. Now, on the back of that big move from Caterpillar, the Dow was able to re remain positive all day. And uh, we're looking for a close for the Dow Diamonds below 351.49 on Wednesday. Not expecting that to happen. And of course, that lower trend line is going to continue to move higher daily. What didn't work on the Dow? Well, it was Verizon was the big loser. Now, Verizon's had a great recovery off the recent low. Uh, did not uh, The recovery was not positive enough to generate a buy signal. We did run up to resistance at $34.38 and stopped. And now it looks like we're going to come back down and uh, retest the low down at $31.25. Notice that uh, from the time that uh, Verizon started to recover here, that the pros showed no interest in taking control. And so that was a kind of a warning sign that uh, this was just a short covering rally and it has now started to fade. What else didn't work on the Dow? Well, Walgreens and Merck, both already on sell signals, uh, led the uh, Dow lower yesterday. I noticed Merck uh, traded uh, right back down to the recent low, and we'll have to see if that low holds on Wednesday. Also notice that we put in a high here, then a lower high, and now another lower high, which of course is bearish. Looking at the SPY, we need a close below 452.20 on Wednesday to give us a sell signal. For the triple Qs, we're looking for a close below 377.36. For the IWM, we're looking for a close below 194.14. And for the IWC, for the microcap stocks, we're looking for a close below 112.58. Next up, let's uh, take a look at the fear index. And uh, historically, I would tell you that a close above 1426 would be negative for the stock market. Uh, we saw some selling yesterday. We're going to see some selling today. I really need, we really need to give the VIX more room right now. It's in a tight range. You can see across the bottom here. Uh, yeah, we popped a couple of uh, weeks ago, but uh, really didn't get anywhere. And so I'm really looking for a breakout above 17. If that were to happen, that would probably correspond directly with new daily sell signals for uh, the S&P 500, the NASDAQ 100, etc. So we need to give the VIX a little more room at the present time. Next up, uh, looking at crypto, we're still on a daily sell signal for bo both Bitcoin and Ethereum. And then for the major Bitcoin stocks, uh, Coinbase and Marathon, uh, they are still on sell signals, so that has not changed. Then looking at the big cap tech stocks, we're still waiting for Apple. Apple's got earnings out uh, later in the week, and so uh, investors may wait until those earnings come out before they decide what to do next. Uh, you can see the pros in the public are currently taking profits right now. That has not been enough to uh, affect the overall price, so they've been able to sell into uh, some strength up here, uh, but they are liquidating at the moment. Then looking at Amazon, Amazon's on a buy signal from uh, just two days ago. Uh, we had uh, quite a wild week last week for Amazon. Uh, we need to close below 129.49 on Wednesday to give us a sell signal. Uh, a lot of times when you want to hold on to a stock longer, so let's say that you got in on the right side and now you want to continue to hold for an event or a quarterly earnings or a dividend payment, etc. Uh, it's often uh, wise to move from the right side to the midterm chart. You've been in there a while, and so now you want to give the stock a little more breathing room. And right now, uh, we would need to close below uh, 127 on the midterm chart versus 129.49 on the uh, right side chart. Then uh, looking at uh, who's in control, you can see that the uh, pros gave up control last week. And then they took control again, but again, uh, it does not look like they want the stock to go much higher from here. Then looking at uh, Alphabet, we had that big pop, and uh, now I'm expecting to come back and fill that gap at some time over the next couple of weeks. 
Then looking at uh, Meta, Meta's uh, still on a buy signal up here. It popped last week on earnings, and now we're looking for a close on uh, Wednesday below 303.60. And uh, you can see the pros are still in control. No change there. Then uh, looking at Microsoft, we're still on a sell signal here, looking for a close above 345.70 on Wednesday to give us a new buy signal. Currently holding support at 328.13. If that breaks, then 312.50 would be our next target to the downside. Then uh, looking at NVIDIA, still on a buy signal here. That would change on Wednesday with a close below 452.61. If we can take out the uh, June high, then uh, $500 would be our next target. Uh, looking down, of course, if we break uh, 437.50, then 406.25, and then 375 come into play, and 375 is at the top of the open gap. Then looking at Tesla, Tesla still on a sell signal. On Wednesday, we're looking for a close above $273.04. Let's uh, finish off this morning's presentation looking at the major commodity ETFs. And uh, the energy sector had a small pullback on Tuesday, starting off with the crude oil. Uh, you can see a very small pullback there, a small pullback for gasoline. Gasoline had an inside day or a day of indecision. Natural gas, unfortunately, is still on a daily sell signal, filling a gap on tuesday we are looking to see if 664 will hold it is a kind of a bearish uh, picture here yes we made a higher high in june we certainly made a higher high from the may high but now in july we put in a lower high and uh, now we're going to have to see if support at 664 holds if it breaks then 625 comes into play Looking at uh, the energy ETFs, the XLE had a small pullback yesterday. Oil and gas equipment had a small pullback, as did the Explorers, and as did the small cap energy stocks. But uh, certainly not concerned about possible sell signals on Wednesday unless the energy sec sector collapses. Uh, but that's not what we're seeing in the pre-market this morning. Uh, the GLD is still on a sell signal, no change there. The SLV has come back and is back on a sell signal as of Tuesday's close. Then looking at the uh, miners themselves, the GDX still on a sell signal, no change there. No change for the junior miners. And unfortunately, we've got the silver miners back on a sell signal as of Tuesday's close. Okay, folks, that is all for this morning's presentation. Still looking for some selling at the open on Wednesday morning. Have a great day. Next time you'll hear my voice is on Thursday morning.